hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is masandra and in this video we will be making this super super cute sleeves with an opening at the front so i do have another tutorial for a different type of sleeve so i just wanted to give you guys an option in case the first one was not your style then i'm sure this one will be your style so let's get right into the video So to get started, I am using a 3mm crochet hook and a lightweight yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot. You're going to go ahead and chain a chain that is as long as you want your sleeves to be. So mine is 48. I did it as well 48 chains which basically is a total of 10 to 11 inches long so if you want yours to be longer then go ahead and do more chains so i did chain a total of 48 which gives me um 10 and a half so this is perfect so from here on i'm just going to Go into the second chain from the hook with my first half double crochet and into the next with another half double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do one half double crochet up until the very end of this row. So now I have row one complete. So for row two is where we are going to start increasing because this is the center of your sleeves and then for me we are going to increase all the way to the shoulders and then afterwards we are going to attach the yarn at the opposite side and increase all the way to the opposite shoulders so for in so for increasing we are going to do two increase at the first after the crochet from the previous row so right there we are going to insert two crochet two after the crochet and then the third the third one right into the same space so basically you instead of doing one increase you're going to do two increase and into the rest of the after the crochet from the previous row we are going to go with just one after the crochet all the way till the end of the row <laughs> So coming to the end of row 2, we are not going to be doing decreasing on this side because this is going to be the end of the top while this is going to be where the shoulder part is. So we are just going to chain one like we usually would and right into the first half double crochet with uh, half double crochet and one half double crochet all the way till the top where we are going to go and then do another increase. <laughs> So coming right at the end, I'm going to make sure I do all the increasing that I did, that I'm not skipping any after the crochet right in that space. So right there, I did three after the crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more in that last space, just so we can have the, the increase that we were actually doing. So to get started with row three, I'm just going to chain one and turn, and right into the first after the crochet, I'm going to go with three after the crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and do one after the crochet all the way till the end of this row. So right here I'm at the end of the row four at this point. So basically you're going to continue to do this pattern until see. So I'm basically going to continue to do this pattern for a few more rows and then I'll come back and show you guys how much row that I did because I'm building the pattern up as I go. So I'll need to do a few more rows to come and show you guys how much I did for actual, um, for this side of the panel so we can repeat the same thing on the opposite side of the panel. So guys, right here I just finished my last row of increases and if you can see I have a total of, at this point my panel is 18 inches long which is what i'm going for and also i did a total of 20 rows in total for me to reach a total of 18 
18 inches length so from now on i'm going to do an additional 15 more rows so i can have a total of 35 rows on this side and i'm going to repeat the same process which is increasing till i get to 20 inches from this end and then another additional 15 rows of no increasing and no decreasing so from now on i'm just going to go ahead and just chain one this time around i'm going to chain one and turn and one after book crochet right into this first one and one after book crochet into the next so i'm just going to continue to do this for a total of 15 row and i'll come back and show you guys how we can go about repeating the same pattern for this opposite side of the panel so guys right here i have the side of the panel complete and i did a total of 35 rows which is a total of 10 inches 11 inches but it obviously stretches all the way till it stretches it's because we use the rib stitch so it's very stretchy so now to get started with the next part of the panel i'm just going to go ahead and cut this off so i'm going to go ahead and cut that off and then i'm going to seal this off for now and i'm just going to go ahead and attach the same yarn see and i'm just going to go ahead and attach it right because we have a string right there so i'm just going to make a knot right there so now it's secured so remember we did one after book crochet before we started the increase so this one after book crochet row that we did is going to be the base between this part of the panel and the other panel that we're about to make so we are not going to do another one row of after book crochet we are going to go right into increase row so you're just going to attach your yarn right there just find a space into the first of the book crochet you did and then you're just going to attach your yarn right there so to get started with an increase row like we did, you're going to chain one and then right into this first after book crochet or chain because this is the chain and then the after book crochet, you're going to do three after book crochets. So, and the third one right there. And into every chain, you're going to add one after book crochet up until the very end of the row. So now that I'm at the end of this row, so we are not increasing on this area. So all I'm going to do is chain one and turn, and I'm going to add one after the crochet in the back loop up until the top, where I go about doing my second increase on the side of the panel. So I'm basically going to continue rows of increases like I did for this side. So I did a total of um 19 rows of increasing so i'm going to continue to do 18 more rows of this I'm going to go then i'm going to go ahead and do another additional 15 rows of no increasing for the rest of the panel and at that point the panel is complete and i'll come back and show you guys how we can go about the sleeves so guys right here i have the panel complete so i did a total of 19 rows of increasing and then a total of 15 rows of no increasing and no decreasing like i did for the opposite side of the panel so now this is complete so originally we are supposed to like slip stitch one inches on this side and then the opposite side before we can attach the sleeve but i'm going to go ahead i already made one sleeve so the sleeve is basically very very easy so i already got one sleeve done so i'm going to show you guys how i did it so what i did was i chained the total of 90 which is the actual length of my sleeve so depending on how long you want your sleeve to be then you can go ahead and chain the amount you want to chain and i also switched my crochet hook to a four millimeter so we did use like a, a three millimeter for the project itself for the panel and for the sleeve i changed to, to and for the sleeve i changed to a four millimeter so i did a total of 22 rows which is a perfect width for my own sleeve so basically all i did was i chained the total of 90 
and then walked my goes of after book crochet and then another goes of after book crochet in the back loop up until i have a total of 22 rows which is the perfect width and the perfect length for my sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and then i'll come back and show you guys how we can go about attaching this two sleeves this and the other sleeve to the panel itself to complete everything so guys coming up i have both sleeves complete and i did a total of 49 rows for each sleeve so now i have both of my sleeves complete and now i'm going to go ahead and attach them to the panel itself so i'm going to go ahead and take my panel and assemble it very well because we will be attaching the side both sides of the edge together and we'll do the same on the opposite side so for us to do that you're going to take one of your sleeves as well and then you're going to align it together with your panel and this is where you're going to go ahead and single crochet all around so you can attach attach both panels together so the sleeve and then to the panel together so i'm going to go ahead and single crochet this together So right there, I'm going to go ahead and attach one end to the upper part of the panel. Right there, and I'm just going to go ahead and make a secure knot. Afterwards, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet both of them together like this So as you can see, I already single crocheted the both panels together. So now we are going to go ahead and single crochet the sleeves. We are going to go ahead and single crochet the sleeves together. And for that, we are just going to start right there. And then we are going to single crochet all the way till the end of the sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and take my yarn and i'm just going to attach right at the seam where we single crochet right there you're going to attach the yarn right there make sure you go through because of the seam it might be a bit tension might be a bit too tight so just take your time and go through that side of the seam Again, make sure you make a secure knot just so you know your work is secure and not going to lose at one point. Make a secure knot and right here you're going to go ahead and just single crochet the sleeves together all the way till the end of this sleeve. So basically this completes um, one side of the sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so you can see what it looks like when it's turned around. So this is how it looks. Let's see. 
so this is how it looks so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same pattern with the sleeve for the opposite panel and then i'll come back and show you guys the final result so guys this is the final final piece i love the way it came out and i'm i'm also glad i used black because then i can wear this with so many so many pieces in my wardrobe i cannot wait to make this in different colors so if you do get to make yourself one please tag me on instagram at me and crochet because i would love to love to see everything you guys make and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video and if you like this video of course give me a big thumbs up as well so youtube can spread my video to other people who crochet and if you have any questions again um, regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial drop them down in the comment section and i'll definitely make time to answer the questions so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao ciao